the year 1912, the magazine Popular Mechanics. Within is an aircraft that seems to be built on more whimsy and speculation than actual facts. From the website JFP Tax Science Books, this aircraft is said to be a type of aerial monstrosity conjured up by writers and artists gifted with more imagination than knowledge of problems of flight. Harsh words indeed from back in the days, so let's look today and make this bird fly. gonna be the scariest part and apparently everything is gonna survive so yay <laughs> okay so it looks like our struts have held strong question is will this thing get off the ground now um well there's only one way to find out let's kick on these engines and throttle forward full and I'll be surprised if this gets off the ground much cheering will be needed because this looks like an absolute monstrosity I'm not seeing this working <laughs> end of runway alright here's the big show and tell okay Okay. Whoa. Oh, it flies all right. Good lord, that's hard uh, to 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 balance to stabilize. <laughs> okay, let's bring this back out. All right, we need. Okay. What? What? <laughs> Well, there you go. Keep dreaming, people. Keep dreaming. Keep designing your wacky, wonky aircraft for magazines that would carry them and give you all the time in the world because there you go. <laughs> One day could fly in a video game, in a virtual world. Virtual world. You think it's in a real world? Are you crazy? <laughs> That is amazing. I would have not thought that this would actually get into the air. But getting to the air is one thing. Maneuvering is another. Let's see if I can maneuver this beast. Oh, very carefully. Very carefully. Very, very carefully. I can bring it back around. All right, so let's try to continuously. Now I happen to run into this thing very randomly online. I was actually looking for a new aircraft to play with, and this one happened to be in a magazine of in days of yore, and they had pictures of it, and it looked really freaking interesting. So I tried to build it. I was fascinated with this thing for a while, so I decided to go ahead and try to build it. Uh, that was just today. <laughs> this is actually my first flight. <laughs> How's that for a look at the draw? Doing pretty good. <laughs> yes! Yes! Wow! This is definitely something else to see. Ooh, let's see if we can, um... Let's not crash. Let's not crash. A big aircraft like this, you need a buzz by. Let's see if we can buzz something. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Let's not buzz the ground. Let's not buzz the ground. Ooh. <laughs> that is amazing stability from this thing. Oh my god, I would have never guessed that this aircraft would hold up so well. 
<laughs> I am so focused right now. <laughs> oh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> this is cool. Okay. Let's try to turn more aggressively this time and see if we can line up a, a runway landing. Throttle down. Throttle down some more. All right, let's do this. Whoa! Whoa! Matter of fact, kill that throttle. Can I, can I reverse thrust? I think I can. Let's try to reverse our thrust. <laughs> this is the insane way to land. All right. So we're going to have to set normal thrust. And this is going to be an interesting landing. It's going to be an interesting landing. Ooh. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh no, brakes off. Ooh. Ooh, many things we celebrated a bit early. <laughs> hey, not too shabby. <laughs> All right, so I have been working in Blender and some in Unity. Now I have a long, long way to go before I get anywhere in this. But I have managed to do some simplistic things and managed to get them in KSP. Now this is one of the strange things I have noticed is that, uh, well, in the learning process, there's a lot of things that you don't know. Like this, for instance. This seems to have a lot of missing um, walls as I turn around. So I'm, I'm guessing I did something wrong. But I still have to go and figure out what exactly that wrong is. So that's more research on my plate. But I want to see if this thing can actually lift itself off. I'm still using, I've scraped together a few things from different places. So we need to turn this on. Uh, torque is currently go. And let's see if we can get into the air. Will this work? Will it work? Will it work? Come on. Come on. There it goes. <laughs> it only has pitch and it has a bit of roll. That's about it. Ooh, there we go. But using just this, we're going to try. We're going to attempt to land on, on this runway up here, on this helicopter run landing pad. All right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. Whoa. We got it. <laughs> oh, as you can see, I have a bit of work to do with this thing. Now, I have made one more, more successful one than this. But I'm still working on a lot of the different meshes. Colliders and all these fun things. I only started Monday. So it is a lot of things to try to take in. A lot of things to try to figure out. And uh, I really am only doing this on my spare time. Which there is not much of these days. But let me jump out of here and show you one last craft that uh, I actually really do like. Be right back. This is the last thing I want to show you today. Those are three completely random things. I, yes, I have uh, I have started to model some things very slowly 
in, in my free time, so it's it's eating up the rest of my free time. This uses suspension made by Jolly Rogers Aerospace. This is something he t gave me a little hint and tip on, and I watched a video of his. I'll uh, put that in the cards. If you look to the side, you'll see cards. They show up as little question marks. That's not a question mark. That's that's no. But in there, if you click on that, it'll take you to a link of things. So I should have told you about that earlier. Anyhow, he showed us he showed us all how to do the suspension. I've never really tried it until now, but it did make this craft a bit more stable, which is important because I want to take this thing to Duna. This is going to be my rover for Duna. So this is Nuka Rover, and it has pretty good stability, pretty good control. And, well, the benefit of having this craft is that I also have a propeller stowed away in here using Infernal Robotics to do so. And you'll see that when I deploy it, everything folds up, everything tucks away nicely, and there it goes. Okay, so now we are ready to deploy and get off the ground. Eventually off the ground. <laughs> We're gonna get off the ground. We're gonna get off the ground soon. It's gonna happen. There it goes. It happened. And there you go. Now we have our chopper rover that's gonna be able to uh, go across Duna a lot faster than our normal rover would be able to because, well, rovers are pretty slow creatures. And I really wanted to be able to get some good distance between myself and the base and get back in a hurry now this is all a bit of fun this is a really stable chopper as well as rover it is fully electric and is using this uh, mark 2 expansion parts uh, atomic fission reactor to give me all the power that I need oh we need to slow ourselves down here I was gonna go for a landing but um, Looks like I am botching that up badly right now. <laughs> Let's see if we can still do this. Alright. So, and this suspension should be able to hold us. Ooh, but I'm not sure if my landing skills are going to be that on point. Or will they? Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I take that back. Hold on. Let me dust off my shoulders. <laughs> Boy, yeah! Awesome. All right. And you know when we fold it back up, everything just kind of closes. Oh, 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 no, don't do that. Stop, 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 stop. We still have our propeller out. <laughs> okay, okay. Stop, fold. Now we can stow it away. Good Lord, I almost made up a fatal error there. All right, so there it goes, tucking itself away, and now it's back to a rover configuration. So there you go. That is my fantastic little fun rover of the day. Uh, three different things, three random things, and I hope you enjoyed it. It's Friday. We survived. We made it another week. Oh, I am going to try to continue on this modeling. If you have any hints, tips with with blender with unity definitely let me know and i will go ahead and take all that in in droves if it comes and also send in your sci-fi design craft and i will place them in the ai battle uh i know we are trying to get everything rolling next week but we will take a little bit of extra time matter of fact we'll how about this we'll collect the craft until friday of next week just to give everybody a lot more time and then we will try the whole AI battle with sci-fi and all that fun stuff. Links to the blast laser will be below. And that is going to be the gun we're going to go with. And for now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Go and share it on out to your friends. Watch it several more times. <laughs> we're growing our family. We are, we are over 3,000. It's amazing. And I hope we keep up this growth. I, I really want to see what's going to happen with... Um, multiplayer because that could be very awesome Especially, imagine if they did like a super server and it could house hundreds of thousands of people oh my god oh it'll drive me crazy I don't know. let me stop thinking for now hope you enjoyed the aircraft hope you enjoyed the rover give me your ideas 
Uh, show me how to do this with uh, with with Blender and Unity, because I am learning well. But I will catch you guys in the next video. It's been your boy Jatwa, and I'm out. Peace. Go on. There we go. Whoops. I had forgotten that. My, <laughs> my fault. My fault. <laughs> oh.